What's up guys, my name is Josh Dreen with Forgent Leadership Solutions, and today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about frameworks. At Forgent, we are all about frameworks, meaning we wanna help you find the right lenses, the right glasses to put on so that you can see situations and other scenarios from a leadership standpoint. I wanna share with you a book that we studied in one of my classes at Harvard. It's called Bowman and Deals Reframing Organizations. And essentially what they do is they give you four frameworks, which is almost like kind of like a personality test, four different frameworks that leaders fall into and how we can leverage these frameworks to be better leaders. The first framework is structural. This is like how the organization is set up. It's how you assign roles, the goals, the procedures that go into the organization. It's all like the nuts and bolts. The second framework is HR, human resources. And this is referring to like company as your extended family. It's the psychology that goes into it. It's teamwork, team building, all of that human stuff. The third frame is political. You view this lens through limited resources in the workplace, competing or differentiating views. It's all about negotiation and getting what you want. And let's be honest, there's probably a little bit of a popularity contest that goes in there as well. The fourth and final frame is the symbolic frame, or we're really talking about spirituality. This is where we start getting into like cultural roles and the differences in opinions, setting up heroes and understanding that there are ceremonies that happen at work and all of the back-end spiritual stuff. With that said, I wanna just show you the different kinds of leaders that fall under each one of these frames and maybe that will help you find out what kind of leader you are. So take a look at this slide that we have here. And the column going down, you see the type of leader and the type of leadership process. A structural leader is kind of like an analyst. He's the architect. Human resources, you're the catalyst. You're the servant. You're very focused on the people. The political frame is all about the advocation. You're, you're a negotiator. You're really good at closing the deal. You're really good at getting what you want, even though it's not what someone else wants. And finally, the symbolic is you're more of a prophet or a poet. Their effective leadership process styles are structural. You're more into the analysis, the design, the reports. Human resources, it's all about the support, empowering others, motivation. The political leader is advocacy, coalition building, and running your platform, essentially. And finally, the symbolic is inspiration, framing your experience, and essentially saying you need to follow me because it feels good. There's always the good and there's always the bad that comes with these leaders. And so if you were to look at an ineffective leader, typically a structural, um, an effective leader would be like a petty tyrant, someone who wields his data to tell you what you need to do. Human resources, like a weakling, a pushover, someone who is a people pleaser and is afraid to mix things up. Political is like a con artist, a thug. And finally, the, fan the symbolic is they're kind of a fanatic, they're a fool. They tell you what you need to do and it just seems off base. These frameworks will help you better understand your organization and you're probably really good at one and not so good at another. So take a look at the ones that you're good at, the ones that you're not, and start implementing some of that structure and that will help you be a more effective leader. So go ahead, throw on those lenses, practice these frameworks, and we will see you on the next video.